what military members can be asked to give. is much different than what civilians are aware of, I think. Just to remind people of the, of the reality and cost of war, because it's easy to, to, to say we support the troops, we do this, we, and that's a, that's a really easy, cost-free way of washing your hands of what's really going on. To write what you're afraid to share with anyone, what people might never want to share, what, be, what might be most humiliating, most embarrassing, most fearful, most traumatic, that's what the great literature is, I think. To be truthful and say, this is what it feels like to be here. This is what it felt like to go through this. And by doing so, allowing civilians to get an understanding of what it means to be in the military. These stories should hopefully help them understand and recognize in a larger and broader basis, um, us collectively and individually. The war is everywhere. There's no front, there's no definite place of safety. People coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, who knows them? What world do they come back into? Many of us don't know. And I think that's a real awesome privilege of our country that we don't know those things. And on the downside, we don't know those things. I wanted people to know. Know that I had existed, that I was here, that I had lived, that I had struggled, that I had tried to be more than simply a victim of a war, that I was still a human being, and that I still had a voice.